Welcome once again to Joe Camp. This is a continuation of our series on sequence stratigraphic principles and we will be discussing the depositional sequence in this model. Recall where we started off, we looked at the stratigraphic sequence and its subdivision into higher order sedimentary um, you know, packages depending on the frequency of change of the global sea level cycle. So in our earlier, uh, one of our earlier models, we looked at the parasequences, which are more like fifth order sedimentary uh, packages. And that was followed by the discussion on parasequence sets, where we looked at uh, uh, the progradational, retrogradational, and aggradational uh, stacking of the individual parasequences. And these are more like fourth other um, packages. In our last um, um, episode, we discussed the different system structs and the associated um, you know, strata termination types and surfaces. We'll be looking at the depositional sequence as a package and this is at the third order scale. A depositional sequence, as, def as defined by uh, Mechum, is a relatively conformable succession of genetically related strata bounded by unconformities or their correlative conformities. Now, recall that we've talked about the usages of conformity, genetically related unconformities and relate, uh, correlative conformities. We've talked about these terminologies in the previous models. So the idea here is that each depositional sequence is the record of one complete cycle of the relative, of the relative sea level change. And uh, that is comprised of a falling stage, which deposits the low stand system tracks, LST, a rising sea level stage, which deposits the TST or the transgressive system tract, and the you know, peak sea level or maximum stability uh, phase, which deposits the HST or the high stand system tract. So different authors uh, use uh, different surfaces to define the limits of uh, the depositional sequence. Some go with uh, the sequence boundary to sequence boundary as SB to SB, or the maximum flooding surface to another maximum flooding surface as MFS to MFS uh, you know, uh, interval. The idea in this uh, section is actually to demonstrate that one depositional sequence is actually uh, a reflection or a, a record of one complete sea level cycle and uh, it comprises of at least two and in most cases, in some cases, all three uh, system structs preserved. Now let's talk a little bit, let's talk a little bit about type 1 and type 2 sequences. A type 1 sequence is formed when the uh, global sea level uh, fall has occurred at a faster rate than that of subsidence at the shoreline. So that means that uh, the, at the global scale, the sea level had fallen at a much faster rate than the rate at which subsidence uh, had occurred at the shoreline. And when that happens, uh, you have some kind of sub-aerial exposure uh, uh, of parts of the shore. And when, and when there's exposure, there's all forms of river incision and erosion that will follow. And uh, during this uh, type one, in a type one uh, sequence setting, uh, the shoreline will have moved further basin wards for the whole of the onshore shelf areas to be exposed. That means the shoreline has gone uh, all the way, uh, be almost you know, further down towards where you have the shelf break in the basin ward direction. And uh, there's the production of a surface called the first regression on the shelf. Now, the, the sediments associated with this uh, type of um, um, sequence is called the falling stage system track. Now, some authors still go with that name, uh, but some other authors just prefer to call uh, the whole package part of the low stand system track. The type 2 sequence is actually the flip scenario, in which case the eustatic or the global sea level uh, fall has occurred at a slower uh, rate than that of subsidence uh, at the shoreline. And when that happens, there is no uh, you know, sub barrel exposure of the shore. And so that means there's no river incision. Um, the shoreline is, is relatively you know, around the shore, the shore areas, not further basin mode like we had in the type one uh, scenario. Uh, there is the absence of forced regression surface and the absence of um, low stand uh, deposits. Uh, some some authors prefer to refer to packages in this in this um, scenario as a shelf margin systems 
trucks. All right, so thanks. Uh, that's all I have for this clip. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to get um, additional data to progress to the next uh, or the last um, model, which will discuss the applications of sequence stratigraphy in uh, you know Delhi um, hydrocarbon exploration and oil and gas uh, business and other activities. Uh, but until then, uh, just send me your you know questions, comments. Let me know. Um, whatever areas that I can, I can uh, develop this 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 um, discussions. Uh, I'll be glad to really get your feedback, and also uh, I like to respond when I get to hear from you. Until until next time, uh, thanks for listening.